Built to Daily Homes, we're back uh, with another episode, probably episode like 1100 or 1200 or something silly like that. Uh, I've been doing this since 2010. Uh, Friday was at a conference, Monday I took the day off and watched Captain America, great movie by the way, especially if you're a comic book fan. And yesterday we only had four listings, but if you're interested in buying anything with condo fees, or if the market's gone up so fast that you can only really afford something with condo fees, you want to check the episode out. There's a lot of things to uh, to know. Today there are seven properties, and uh, let's get started with them. Now this one on Pitfield for 359. We talked yesterday about values. We have seen condo towns crack that that mark of 400,000. When I first moved to Milton, the prices had the first number being a one. And even last year I had a client who picked one up uh, with the first number being a two. So you've seen how rapidly they've appreciated. What I'm most curious about on this one is there's a sitting area off the master that's 10.17 by 9.51, which is perfectly acceptable for a fourth bedroom. And I think the value would increase substantially from having a fourth bedroom. So I don't so there you go. I wonder if you could do a, a fourth bedroom there. I think it'd make a lot of sense to do it. You've got nice tree coverage here. I think it's a great deal, great price. They are holding back on offers on this one, I believe until Saturday. Septimus also looks like a good deal. We've seen uh, the current model go for 430, 440. Uh, it's 11, what is it, 11 something square feet between 11 and 12, I think 1190, high 11s. Uh, pretty open concept floor plan. It's not super fancy. It does have two full bathrooms upstairs, which is an upgrade of about $5,000 from the builder. The cabinet color is good. Obviously they didn't stage it too much, but uh, you know, that's fine. If the impression goes down a little bit, that's okay. This is either an office nook or it's a laundry room. I like the laundry up here because it gives you a lot more storage space down in the basement. I shouldn't say basement, the lower level, this level here, because these homes actually don't have basements. The only place you can store stuff is your garage plus like the furnace mechanical room. I do think this one uh, has the possibility of going for more than what they're asking. Now the good news for buyers, when I came off the weekend, normally what we see is 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 over asking. And there were a few homes that, that did well in competition. Uh, we also saw some sold conditionals. And so what that means is that the sold conditional means someone actually managed to get conditions, including home inspection, financing, or maybe just one of them included in their offer. That typically happens when there's not as much competition. And so for the first time in a long time, we saw some sold conditionals that could mean good news for buyers we've seen it hasn't been really heavy this week but in in the previous weeks we've seen more inventory start to come out which would have a tendency to balance things the reason i bring that up is because 401 pots is sold conditional and so it's listed at 699 it's the same home as this one it also backs onto green space and it has a finished basement 699 it means they only had one offer and i was being kept in uh, in the loop about that because i had a buyer who saw it one offer at 699 with a finished basement it wasn't perfect inside this one on wet lawfer is actually i think it looks better inside i think they've cared for it better uh the, the coloring and everything else but pots wasn't so bad and it had some advantages over this one for $6.99. So they are holding back on offers on this one for $7.29. That's the fourth bedroom, I think. Uh, anyway, it's nice. There is green space there. I mean, the angle doesn't give you a good idea, but it does actually face uh, some green space behind. I can show you what that looks like. If you go over to the GIS map, 541 so it, wet lawfer so it sides onto pringle and then it backs onto this little stretch of, uh, of green space here so it's uh it's good i don't know if 729 is going to work given what happened on pots but if it did happen it would be because this one is cared for well the little details the gardens the the paint job, the cleanliness, those are all things that can sway a sale ten or twenty thousand dollars. 
And that's why sometimes if you look in a list, and what we see a lot of times is the worst sale sells for more than the better sale, at least on paper, and you go, that doesn't make any sense. Half of it has to do with competition, the other half has to do with those fine things that people do, the touch-ups, the final details, the last 10% of effort that can lead to sometimes 50 to 80% of your improved result. Okay, last one for today, 420 Pettit, uh, 749.9. We've talked about the advantage of putting it at 750.000 and appealing to a whole new audience there. I like that front door. Uh, pot lights, you know, it's got some basic parts, but it also, I think, uh, looks like it's been well kept, at least from the photos. And then you've got a finished basement, a pie shaped lot. Double garage, four bedrooms with a loft, finished basement, big lot. That's pretty much for most people the wish list. And for 749, I mean, there's a lot of homes that have sold or are listed for this kind of price that I don't like as much as this one. So that's the list. Anything that you see listed, we're able to give you access uh, and we'd be glad to. We'd be glad to help you search for a home. Uh, there's lots of tools on the site, the pinpoint price analysis, listings by email, the tour of homes, the buyer class, all of that's available to you. It's somewhere, depending on which device you look at, uh, somewhere on the site. So have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow with, with more Multi Daily Homes.